Hi there, my name is Leanne Burton and I am Director of Philanthropic Services at Makeway and I head up the Advised Fund program here. We've recently relaunched our Advised Fund program or Donor Advised Fund program and now it is called the Community and Donor Advised Fund program and I really want to share with you some of the exciting changes that we've been working on. So we've designed this program for disruptors. We strive to grow and evolve with under and community partners to disrupt the systems that are not working and to make way for new ways of working that offer flexible flow of resources where they're needed. So we look back at 20 years of giving through advised funds to understand where our strengths and where our weaknesses were and to ensure that this program is designed for the mission of make way. We found one of our key uh, strengths is that our financial model is flexible in that we don't have an endowment that we need to protect. Um, if a crisis happens, like say a global pandemic or an earthquake, earthquake in Haiti, for example, um, we're able to deploy capital to Canadian registered charities right away. We're able to respond to crises in ways that many other partners are not able to, which is wonderful. And so the advised funds, while they have that kind of flexibility, we also found that there were some areas where we really could improve. And we identified six ways, six areas for improvement. And so now we're calling it the Community and Donor Advised Fund Program. And the reason why we've named it uh, in this way is because we want to shift more power to communities with advised funds. This is something we've been doing for quite some time uh, where the situation calls for us to put community in a leadership role in terms of where the charitable capital is going and that's worked really well and we want to do more of that and so we now are putting communities first in the advised fund program and creating more healthy pathways between uh, funder and community partners. And in terms of disbursement, so we have been dispersing between 20 and 30 percent out of the overall advised fund program in the last couple of years. Uh, and that is largely through high activity funds, but then also some low activity funds. And so while there's been some incredibly high level of dis disbursements out of some funds, there have been some funds that have been a little bit moderate or conservative in their activity over the last couple of years. So the minimum disbursement rate um, that the federal government has recently announced is 5%. And so we want to be able to have all of our funds dispersing a minimum of 5% per year of capital to communities. How will we do that? Well, that's number three on my list of things that we're gonna change. So we're gonna offer philanthropic support to each and every advised fund uh, at Make Way. So that means what we'll do is work with the fund advisors, whether they are a community or they're a funder, um, and we will meet with them once a year to identify goals and pathways towards those goals. And we will help support them along the way. And we will meet with them a second time to check in on progress towards goals so that we can help busy people still realize their philanthropic mission. Number four is that we have always been fossil fuel free invested in terms of the capital that is um, sitting waiting to be deployed out to community. It, that's really been important to us for the last 20 years. And now we want to really thoughtfully, intentionally and nimbly work to more, towards more mission aligned and impact invested um, portfolios as it relates to the capital that's not being spent in community just yet for a number of reasons. We want to improve on the transparency of our advised fund program. There is very little that we know as a sector, as a civil society around how many advised funds are out there, what are the balances, where are they invested, what are the disbursements, how much is making it up to community, and it's important for all of us to have insights into that. So in the absence of uh, regulation that requires disclosure of this information, we are going to disclose it. So in the coming year, you will be able to access on our website a list of the funds, the type, the purpose, the balance, and annual disbursement. And in the future, we'd love to be able to uh, overlay um, an impact investing and mission aligned investing value as well too. That's gonna take a little bit more work, but we are striving towards that as well too. 
And then we've heard our people who have been asking for more peer learning opportunities. And so we are going to be organizing uh, online events and in-person opportunities as well too in various geographies across Turtle Island where funders and communities can come together and uh, learn from one another, share in best practices, share in resources, resources being financial and non-financial as well too. So in summary, we're shifting more power, we're increasing the disbursements on each and every fund, we're providing philanthropic supports to every single advised fund with Make Way, we are pushing fossil fuel free investments even further into impact and mission aligned investing. We are leading by our vision for transparency in the sector on advised funds, and we're offering more peer learning opportunities in the sector. And so we hope that you'll join us. We invite partners of all backgrounds, lived experiences, and financial and non-financial resources in because we want to work towards a future where nature and communities thrive together and we are going to continue to evolve. So come and evolve with us.